You know, there's nothing quite like the bike-train combo. I love riding to Sydney's central station through the leafy back streets, admiring the old buildings, then spending a few serene hours reading on the train as I watch beautiful bush and farmland whoosh by. I never feel too lethargic after the train ride because of the exercise on my bike beforehand and if I do need to stretch my legs after sitting down for so long, well, it's no problem since I just roll my bike off the train when it pulls up at Queanbeyan Station and I ride along the beautiful Queanbeyan River in the dappled sunlight all the way home. Or at least I presume that's what it would be like. I've never taken my bike on a regional train in New South Wales because uh, it's illegal. Welcome to Footpaths and Corner Stores. I'm wearing a cowboy hat to show I really catch regional trains. Make sure to subscribe for one free bike on a regional train. So not only is the bike train combo super fun, uh, I have done it before on intercity and suburban trains in Sydney because it is legal there, just not in regional New South Wales. Um, but it's also the most energy efficient way to travel long distances. And it's pretty much the only way to do it that doesn't fart out excessive CO2. Not only is it great in theory, but it works fantastically in other countries around the world and even in other states in Australia. In Copenhagen, one third of all train trips are combined with a bike trip that often involves bringing bikes on the train. Even Victorian regional trains allow you to bring your bikes on no worries. Which I would love to do one day, but I can't exactly get my bike to Victoria because I've got to get through New South Wales train link first. Not only is the bike train come fantastic for the environment and the user's wallet, but it's good for the regional economy's wallet as well. The Murray to Mountains Rail Trail in Victoria, which starts in Wangaratta, a regional town with a well-served train station, has generated over $1 million for local economies. New South Wales has been building some pretty good rail trails as well, or so I hear anyway, I haven't been able to get to any of them. Okay, look, look, maybe... I'm not giving New South Wales train link enough credit here. I mean, technically, you can actually bring your bike on a regional train in New South Wales. You can ride your bike to the train station, disassemble it there and pack it into a tiny box, which you have to pay for. And if it's less than 20 kilos, most e-bikes aren't, including mine, then you'll be allowed to take it on the train for an extra $12.50 on top of the fee for the box as long as three other people haven't booked their bike ahead before you did. Which is entirely possible because disassembling your bike to get it on a train is a whole lot of fun. Oh, and the fun doesn't stop there because once you get to the station, you can find somewhere to dispose of that now useless cardboard box, you can reassemble your bike and you can ride it to your destination. So really, I, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, there's no problem at all and I, I don't even need to be making this video. Okay, that, that was obviously a joke. It's a massive problem, and um, if you're still not convinced, here are two tales from regional New South Wales to bring you on board. A very Queanbeyan Christmas. It's been many a year since I left, but I still visit my hometown of Queanbeyan often, each time catching the train from Sydney. Throughout the year, I fit these visits in where my schedule allows, but come Christmas time, my parents are guaranteed a visit. The train timetable varies sometimes quite unpredictably, but trains usually arrive in Queanbeyan Station at around 11 a.m., 4 p.m., or 10 p.m. Now, 10 p.m. can be rather late for an early riser like me, and both my parents are often at work at 11 a.m. But 4 p.m. usually works just fine if one of them can get off work a little early to pick me up from the station. This isn't always possible, however and I have walked home from the train station on more than one occasion. It is a pleasant walk, I will admit that, although it is made less pleasant due to the luggage I must carry, and it takes about an hour if I take the scenic route along the river, which is the only good route. That same route is less than a 15 minute bike ride. 
and the bicycle eliminates the need for carrying any luggage myself. I only wish I could take that bicycle with me, but alas, I do not want to spend Christmas Eve rotting in the Golden Supermax once the police discover that it's on board. Another tale from regional New South Wales. Bikeless in Broken Hill. You see, I'm heading out there for a rural teacher placement this year. In fact, by the time this video is up, that's where I'll be, and it's been a little bit of a hassle organising transportation there. If I had been able to bring my e-bike on the train, I would have had free reign of the town. Luckily, my father and I figured out quite an amiable solution, but this wouldn't work for everybody. You see, his car has been falling apart quite literally in some cases, for the past few months and he's been meaning to replace it with an e-bike. This occasion finally provided him with an excuse. He purchased an e-bike, had it shipped to Broken Hill, and the bike mechanic will assemble it, and it shall be ready for me upon my arrival. At the end of the six-week placement, my family will drive up to visit me and then drive me and the bike home. Now, there is a brief hassle, which is that the bike shop will be closed by the time the train pulls into Broken Hill, and I'll have to be at school before it opens, but oh, oh, hang on, sorry, I'll get back to the story in a moment, I'm just getting a... So, uh, wait, so a solution is in, in the works, is it? Wait, so there's a fleet of new modern electric and diesel bi-mode trains with Wi-Fi and charging ports and... No. Roll on bike storage. And they're currently being procured by the New South Wales government? And apparently, when they were announced, they were, they were due to enter use this year? Okay, so there's no problem. That means that... Wait, hang on, say that again, sorry. What? Wait, come on, hang on, hang... What? No, how do you screw something so simple up so badly? You'd think they'd learn to double-check things from that time they ordered new intercity trains that didn't fit in the tunnels. Okay, so apparently these new trains aren't the silver bullet solution that I was hoping they'd be. Um, because they have been delayed until at least 2027, somehow. I, And that begs an important question. What can be done in the meantime? Actually, a lot, and pretty easily. Bicycle New South Wales has a petition to allow bikes on trains, and it currently has almost 2,000 signatures. Add yours if you haven't already. You can also contact your local member and the Minister for Regional Transport. I would recommend including a personal story and reminding Jenny Aitchison that she said if Labor wins, they'll make sure that the aging XPT fleet has some of the amenities passengers have been promised. You can also forward them a fantastic guide made by Central West Cycle Trail Committee member John Fuller, which lists a bunch of quick and easy ways that roll-on bikes could become a reality. Seriously, there are so many cheap and easy modifications that could be made right now to New South Wales as regional fleet. I, I, I don't know why they haven't done these already. Check out the pamphlet and send it to as many politicians as you can. You can also leave feedback for Trainlink whenever you catch a regional or intercity train. They all have QR codes on board. Every time I catch a train, I make sure to ask for roll-on bikes, better coffee, and vegan food options. I probably think I'm some kind of <laughs> irritating hipster who like buys all his clothes secondhand and grows his own food or something. Wait, wait, where'd that footage come? The solutions are so cheap and easy and clearly beneficial that it's so surprising that we haven't done it already. So sign that petition, get onto your local pollies, and let's get bikes on regional New South Wales trains. Huge, huge thank you to my monthly members over on Kofi, Axwalia, Aberam M, Building Beautifully, and Lucas. 